<laughs> okay, I was waiting, waiting for you to start. No, no, no. Um, okay, as I said on uh, before we ran out of tape a minute ago, I could, uh, he's talking about the Rainbow Peace Projects International, um, which uh, originated uh, really out of ideas that culminated in a, in a council uh, in councils, uh, um, starting at the um, Montana Rainbow Gathering in. Um, uh, Montana, in the mountains in Montana, in 19, in, in July uh, 1st through the 7th of uh, uh, 1976. That's the first um, rainbow gathering. No, this is the uh, fourth, uh, wait, fifth rainbow gathering. This is the fifth rainbow gathering. Yeah, the, ga the gatherings were Colorado, Wyoming, Colorado in 72, Wyoming in 73. I was at, I was at Wyoming and uh, Utah in 74, and I was in Arkansas in 75, and Montana in 76, and it goes on uh, to Mexico in 77, Oregon in 78, Arizona in 79, Washington in 80, Idaho in 81. I was at all of those, and he was at all of those. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, West Virginia, I was not at in 1980. He was at West Virginia. Washington was 81, Idaho was 82. And then neither one of us made um, Michigan in 1983. His bus broke down, and uh, I was uh, in California and uh, just didn't make it. And uh, actually, some people I knew from California came back from Michigan before it was even over, saying bad things about it, and there were all kinds of things. So that's going Michigan on. in '83. Yeah, yeah, and I won't go beyond so, that at the moment. Oh, uh, okay. Now, uh, now this this is written right now. This is dated. Yeah, it's Rainbow Hawk. In New York State Prison, Stormville, New York, dated September seventh, nineteen ninety one. Nineteen ninety one. Okay. And, so uh, this was waiting for me when I got back from my little recent trip. And, and you had written uh, him a letter, of course. I wrote him a letter to his. Uh, uh, I wrote him a letter with, with copies of the letter that I had sent uh, to his draft board, board uh, that he's coming up for parole now, through the uh, Rainbow Hawk um, Sergei Troyansky. Um, defense fund. Sergei Tro Troyansky is a prisoner of conscience in the so Soviet Union. And they've linked uh, together a whole group of people working on getting both of them out. Not just them, but in general, getting all political prisoners released, in the, specifically in the U United States and Russia, Eastern Europe and, and other places too, but especially the United States and, and Russia, because both places claim there are no uh, political prisoners left, really. Uh, uh, yeah. The Soviet Union yeah. says they're they're cool now, and and America says it never had any. And both of course, <laughs> both of course are lies. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so he he he's um, telling me about all the Rainbow Peace projects which are going on uh, in Europe and around the world now, uh, since I was set in on the original uh, councils and 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 did a, and, and worked in a, uh, putting together a lot of the original uh, peace village groups and caravans and sites that we did. In the Western United States, mostly, and that all were sort of. You're going to have um, to explain what a peace village is, and what a what a. Okay, if well, he does that. Then, then he does. He does get to it a little bit. There's, okay. There's a when you get uh, to that point, it, it relates. It relates directly to this PEACE thing that that okay. that Barry uh, okay. Bunker uh, Adams uh, uh, came up with, which is it does sort of capture. Of the spirit of the thing, and that's, uh, and I'll, uh, you know, come back to this later, but that stands for a positive energy alternative community environment. And so, so the idea is sort of uh, a self sufficient, uh, uh, totally clean and ecologically um, um, positive um, um, communal environment that, that, that uh, uh, on one level is, is set up by people choosing to live in a non city and non um, system. A manner and an environment, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. uh, but but um, on another level, it's countercultural uh, in the sense that it's not just uh, uh, going to get away from all of it, but it's also uh, to set to to be able to reproduce such communities and link them and set them up as places for, where people can go to from the so city or from natural okay. disasters or under under yeah. times when. And how many are there now? Uh, oh, he covers. Uh, okay, he covers wait. That. Well, no, no, I'm not going to read that part. Uh, uh, I'll go back and, and, and get that part a little bit. Let's see. Um, well, okay. I'll just start. I'll just start at the top of his letter because he, he, he a little bit. He, uh, uh, he he calls me Catfish. That's one of my other names. Howdy, Catfish. Been a long time, brother. I think it was Wyoming, where, which was the uh, '73 gathering, the second gathering, where we first met. Though I'm sure we were involved in the same anti-war Vietnam efforts prior to that. I was hyper hyperactive from coast to coast on that, though primarily in Berkeley, New York City, and D.C. Your letter. The letter I wrote to Stratford, uh, several drafts of which I did, 
I like the final draft best too. Advoca advocating my release is excellent, and I've already shown it to a few folks here who are quite blown away by it, including teachers in the school and guys working in the pre-release center program. The PRC guys are very up on parole trips and think the letter is the best they've ever seen, and they are very tuned in to what the parole board likes, so hopefully the parole board is equally impressed. True, you did pour it on thick, <laughs> but with uh, your credentials, that's something they'll have to allow you to the right to do. And I'll, I'll comment on that in my letter reply to him until you'll get uh, next week or something. Um, all the political name dropping will also help to throw any doubts they may have totally off and will probably make them think very seriously about whether you may use those connections if they decide to not grant parole. Um, since federal funding is something that states take very seriously, and you mentioned some big guns on Capitol Hill, although not for those reasons, and, and I'll talk to that later. As I, <laughs> I would assume that that will also weigh heavily in favor my, of, of my getting a favorable decision. I've received a few letters from folks at various universities, the University of Arkansas at Conway, uh, Department of Journalism, City University of New York, Staten Island, Department of History, University of Oregon, Eugene, Computer Sciences and Photography Departments on school letterhead. So them seeing MIT also represented helps round out the academy support base some. Bob, that's Bob McGlennis in Brooklyn, who's the head of the uh, Rainbow Hawk Sergei Tronetsky Defense Committee, uh, or at least uh, the head of it in the U.S., uh, is taking care of assembling the letters and petitions he receives. A really good brother from the anarchist end of the spectrum. There's also a file of letters and petitions from folks who supported my appeal for executive clemency a couple of years ago. And since that department is a, a part of the Division of Parole, I assume they'll be looking at all those too. Plus, Bob has made sure to remind them to do so. I expect that many letters will, maybe have already, be arriving from Europe as a result of the pamphlet Bob put together being shared, which has been, which has particularly raised much interest from our Russian, Ukraine, Baltic Republics, Polish, etc. folks. Of course, the Eastern European and USSR, if you can call it that now, are much more tuned into the political prisoner routine, so more apt to support the, co the cause. Rainbow has become quite the thing in the USSR these days, with Free Initiative, the Moscow Trust Group, Guardians of the Rainbow, Next Stop Leningrad, their peace, uh, their peace village in the Leningrad district, and five to six Russian vessels involved in the peace fleet, and home ported at the Institute for Water Transport in Leningrad. In fact, at the European gathering in Poland, they decided to get together the first regional in the USSR, this is brand new, uh, either in the Ukraine or one of the Baltic Republics, though those are no longer parts of the USSR. <laughs> we have one peace village in Poland, 12 families of Polish dreadheads, and plans are to add on another site, to add another on the site where the gathering was held, which is available for $55,000 for a 50 square kilometer site. And it's a beautiful site with a river running through it. Just got some eight and a half by 11, um, photos of it that were taken by the scouting crew prior to the gathering. There are a few other Rainbow Peace projects in Europe, mostly focalized out of the peace village at Ceggio, Italy, in the Italian Alps, which is a cross between a traditional Rainbow and a center used for paid type seminars and such that provide funding. A peace school in Austria that evolved out of last year's European gathering in that country is also uh, another evolving project. There's a Rainbow Alternative Center in Norway that focalizes benefit events, provides a space for arts and crafts, writers, etc. type folks. There's also an alternative ski resort and cross-cultural center in Norway. There's a couple of other Rainbow Village trips happening in Spain and Portugal, though not directly affiliated with Rainbow Peace uh, Projects International, though the one in Portugal has a smaller sailing vessel, a 30-footer, that's a part of the peace fleet efforts, and plans are to build a much larger trimaran to add to the fleet. I could go on and on about all the various existing and, and evolving Rainbow Peace Projects, but that would take hundreds of pages, and you really should send for the Rainbow Peace Project International Newsletter for a better overall view. Rainbow Peace Projects International Newsletter, Diane Nestor, Post Office Box 206, Gay Mills, Gays Mills, Wisconsin, 54631. It does cost Diana about $5 to copy and mail 50 plus pages in 8.5 by 11 format the newsletter and an additional info packet on various events and projects going on that are not directly that are yeah that are not directly parts of Rainbow Peace Project International. And Diana just copies and mails all their invites and info sheets as part of our mutual assistance network. 
geared to assisting all worthy peace and ecological efforts who send in info. Most folks enter $25 to cover receiving the newsletters and info packets for a year, five to six uh, 